I want to ask you a question. Is staying consistent achievable? Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve that because I've tried it and it's working for me and I believe it will work for you. And you want to make a name for yourself. You want to make your family happy. You want to do things great, but this habit is drawing you backward. My name is Indawi Manuel, and my goal for you is to help you become the best version of yourself in your journey of entrepreneurship because one thing I believe is whatever I learn that's taking me forward, you might be going through that challenge. Why don't I share you that knowledge and impact you with that understanding that can also progress you, which is why I created this channel. It's my notes. I've written down everything that I believe will help you. First thing is clarity. And what do I mean by clarity? Do you have an understanding of why you want to actually achieve what you are pursuing? Do you have the deepest thoughts? Why do I want to get to this point? I'm here, I'm in point A, but I want to get to point B. You are, there is a gap in between. And behind you is something drawing you backward from get it to point B. Point B is your gold, is your diamond, is the dream and the desire for you to become something. Maybe you want to make your family proud. Maybe you want to achieve financial freedom. Maybe you want to help your family or not your community. You want to help the church, whatever your desire may be. But yet something is dragging you backward. If you don't have a clarity of why you want to achieve point B, trust me, you'll keep going backward. Now, how do, you, how do you get to become clarified? Let me use that word. Or how do you get clarity on getting to point B? The first thing you must do is set a goal for yourself. Not just setting a goal for yourself. I know you set a goal. That's why you want to get to point B. But set a realistic goal in, in terms of adding a number to it. You want to become a millionaire, right? Let me give for example, you want to become a millionaire. But what millionaire do you want to become? Is this someone that is worth one million naira? Because one million naira too is also a millionaire. Is this someone that is worth 100 million? Someone that is worth 800 million? That's a multi-millionaire. Go write it out on a sheet of paper. I want to make $800 million. And you ask yourself, what are the steps I need to take in getting to this goal? There is this acronym of what we call SMART. I don't know if you know it, right? S M A R T. S is specific, M is measurable, A is um, achievable, R is realistic, T is time bound. Are you specific about it? Have you measured it now? Achieving $800 million, right? What year are you giving yourself in achieving this? Is it in the next three years? Is it in the next five years? Next 10 years? Next 20 years? Write it out. Then ask yourself, I know that I'm at this point, which is achievable. Is this something I know deep down in me that I can work really hard? Because if you don't have that belief, trust me, without that belief, without that faith, you will still go back to becoming someone who is worth zero figure. If you don't trust yourself that you can become someone that is worth 800 million, if you don't see yourself as someone that is worth 800 million, that has assets that's worth 800 million, that has connection that is worth 800 million, if you don't have that mindset and that belief in yourself, you can't get it. Now, another thing is the R is realistic. This is something you feel you can achieve in your location, in your environment. You have to ask yourself this. Can I achieve this thing in my environment? Where do I need to be to become this? Then you walk your way. If you notice that, okay, where you are now won't take you there. How do I walk my way into an environment, into a network of people, into a knowledge, into skill sets, right? For me to achieve this. That's the 800 million era, which is the figure. Then the last one is time bound. I've mentioned it before. How many years will it take me? What do I need to do every year for me to get closer to this goal? This thought is very, very hard, but it's something 
if you put yourself into it i've actually done it and i've watched videos and i've read books that i see it is possible right each year okay what what skill set can i build this year that will take me closer to your goal is it like do you need to learn how to sell okay let me buy books then do i need, need to learn how to manage people do i need to learn how to do marketing that will generate me clients right ask yourself this question that is the first thing the second thing is commitment now for commitment commitment isn't easy let me tell you this commitment is not easy as you see you hear people say you hear motivational speakers say be committed be committed be committed be committed but is it really easy now one way you can help yourself in becoming committed is you need to start small you need to start small for someone who wants to build like a, for a guy that wants to build his muscle you can't go to the gym and expect that in three months you get to that level of someone that has been building for 10 years for five years for two years but what you can you do why don't you go to the gym and start maybe taking that weight or doing pull-ups 10 push-ups every day start with 10 push-ups start with five since you know that it's not tedious right why don't you start with five i started with 10 every morning now i have I've upgraded to 15 because I, I've seen that I'm having that capacity in pushing to 15. Then from 15, I can move to 20. From 20, I can move to 30. Tell yourself, I'm going to do 10 push ups. If you don't do it this morning, don't beat yourself. If you don't do it today, don't beat yourself. Tell yourself, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow, just do five. Gradually, start gradually. Just, you don't need to do much. What happens is, whatever you do gradually, you are not just building that committed level, you are building a habit you don't know. That habit is what propels you to become that person who can be committed in achieving a goal. Just start small. And the next thing is this, you need to have a routine. Now, let me show you something on my notes, right? Routine is important, but I'm going to show you the best way to actually achieve a routine. Now, from this, you see I put um, times and hours and um, let's say diamond hour, golden hour, silver hour. I kept time for everything that I'm going to do. Now, I came to realize that in staying consistent to routine, it's not 100% achievable for me because of the environment and because of the kind of work I do. But one thing I've come to realize is I, I do them in badges. If I wake up from 5 by 5 or by 6, what do I need to do within that hour? I pray. God, I thank you for another day. I thank you that I'm alive to pursue my dream. I pray. The next thing I do is I read, right? I know that I must read. Even if it's not 10 page, 15 page, 1 hour, I just read something to at least help my mind grow the next thing i do is i listen to songs that helps me reframe my mind into that person i need to become that is what you need to know know about routine what do i need to do within a specific hour of the day that can propel me into the life i need to be or into the person i need to be you can also be someone that can follow with your plans right i'm not in doubt about that but to me this is a, this has what has been helping me progress then the next one is this you need to be mindful now mindfulness i said it in i said it before that every morning i listen to something that frame my mind what do you do every morning that we reframe your mind that we renew your mind into that person you need to be there's a message i listen to that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith is not built by just seeing things. The more you listen to things, the more you fill your mind. Trust me, it cleanses any belief, any mindset that will draw you into that old lifestyle. 
every morning right you can download motivational speech i have them on my phone i have like over 30. you can download message right you can download songs from your favorite artists that inspire you to become the best there is this lady i love so much a nigerian singer tenny the two of her songs um um uyo mayo and um, bilonia i listen to this song like almost every day almost every day everyone is born a winner yeah yeah if only you just believe see if i have to say what song if someone is to ask me what song or what has helped you in getting to this stage i'll tell i'll tell you boldly that any song changed my life and i'll even tag her for that because that song to me is a blessing with your mayo and bilonia i wanna be a bilonia bilonia yeah yeah so that is for me i don't know what it is for you so you just have to decide then you read book I said it earlier i make sure i read five to ten page every day sometimes when i call get back from work i go to a place that is calm and i read just to see that i can develop myself become a better person right aside reading you can watch videos on youtube in the morning most times i turn on the tv i watch video for uh, a video that takes me forward these videos on finance on and business management on entrepreneurship these videos help me to become better right so that is one thing i believe will help you then another one is this resilience now for resilience to be very frank with you you will fail different time there are times you will fall back to your old habits but one thing you should know is you should not back down you should not give up because of what you want to achieve keep fighting and I bet you, if you're really, really serious with who you want to become, that hunger of becoming that person will help you. It will help you. I'm 100% certain. You need to stay resilient. That ah, no matter the challenge, because I came to realize that success is not a straight line. Success is in different form, different things hit you, different challenges, different obstacle, right? not just um obstacle you see around you but obstacle from you beliefs mindset things that will hold you down sometimes you just feel lazy sometimes procrastination don't let these things even if they come try to reframe your mind oh I'm, i want to go somewhere oh i'm falling back the moment you begin to see that oh, i fuck up i'm on no time let me go again trust me it will really help you and the last one is continuous learning right keep meeting new people i don't know where you worship or whichever place you can meet new people whether at a networking event a seminar conference meet new people bro my sis see um something very short with you i shared it on my last video but i still need to share it i was facing this issue of okay how do i become an entrepreneur right and i went to meet some of mr Wayne. i love him so much he told me for me to become good at entrepreneurship, first thing I need to build is learning how to sell. And what I did is I went online to buy some things that I could sell. And trust me, the experience has been tremendous. So imagine I hadn't seek advice from someone who has gone past through the stage I'm in right now. That's how I've been stuck. I'll just be rolling in a circle. So that is one thing you should also do meet new people whether online pay for course or pay for master class whichever skill you want to build find a way to gather money pay for course the network of people there you begin to see ideas you begin to see things they do inspire you wow so this person has done this wow oh my god i can do better you reach out please how do i and from there you grow so that is one thing i believe will really help you in staying consistent and in dealing with that fear of failure that you are facing right now so if you found value from this video please make sure you like you comment you subscribe because i'm dropping updates that really help you and take you to the next level my name is Indawe Emmanuel and my goal as i said is to help you become the best version of yourself 
in your journey to entrepreneurship. See you in the next video. Take care.